Elastic is a notion used to make garments fitted and comfortable. It comes in different sizes and types, and this video will provide an overview so you can pick the right one for your project. Elastic is rubber that can be covered in nylon, polyester, or cotton. It stretches and is used in projects to gather fabric, like in a casing, or sewn directly to a project like a fastener. It can come in different widths from thread-like to about four inches in width. It can also be sold by the yard or prepackaged. The main categories of elastic are braided, woven, knitted, and specialty elastic. Braided elastic has ribs running down the length of it. It will also get more narrow when stretched. It's best for lightweight projects, especially when being used in casings, like for necklines and sleeves and peasant style garments. If you stitch through it lengthwise, it will no longer stretch, so you only wanna stitch it on the ends. It does like to roll, so it's probably not a good option for waistbands and does have a tendency to stretch out with a lot of use. Woven elastic is firm and the elastic fibers are woven together. Unlike braided elastic, it does intend to roll, which is why it's sometimes referred to as no roll. It can be used in casings, especially for heavier weight fabrics, so it's perfect for pants, skirts, outerwear projects, etc. It can be stitched through lengthwise to attach it to fabric without losing its stretchiness. Knit elastic is soft and the elastic fibers are knitted together. Like woven elastic, it can be used for both casings and stitched through directly to fabric without losing its stretchiness, but usually for light to mid-weight fabrics. It can also roll inside a casing, but not as much as braided. Let's cover specialty elastics. Sports or swimwear elastic is meant to withstand hardier situations such as chlorinated or salt water or being washed and dried a lot. Other elastics may not hold up in these types of situations. It doesn't need a casing and can be sewn directly to fabric and maintain its stretchiness. Lingerie elastic is a more delicate elastic and sometimes has a pico edge. It's meant for lingerie and underwear being sewn directly to the edge of the fabric and would be seen on the right side of the garment. The softer plush side goes toward the skin. Fold over elastic is also stretchy and decorative. It folds over the fabric edge, sandwiching the fabric. It comes in different colors and prints and it can be used in underwear, swimwear, or as binding and knit garments. Clear elastic is a transparent elastic and used with lightweight fabrics like swimwear or jersey. It can be used for gathering, but is often used as a stabilizer for seams. Waistband elastic is a firm white elastic that comes in a variety of colors and is meant to be seen. Can be used as a waistband in skirts, pants, and shorts. Elastic thread and cording are very thin elastics used to create effects in projects. Elastic thread can be hand wound onto a bobbin and used to create a shirring look onto fabric. For a specific video on shirring, check out the description. Cording is a little thicker than the thread. It can be used to create button loops or used to create a ruche effect. You can also check our description for a tutorial on ruching with elastic. There are other types of specialty elastics, but these are the most common. Hopefully knowing what each elastic is best for will make your next trip to the notions department easier. Our book, Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing, Garment Making for Nervous Newbies, is now available to order. Go to professorpincushion.com forward slash books or click on the link in the description to see a list of vendors where you can purchase it.